remember reading this uh, article in The Economist about a year ago, and uh, that's where I picked all these numbers from. And I believe that uh, talent staying in Europe and creating companies and uh, businesses here is very important for the strategic success of the MetaNet initiatives. If, if a research just stays at the level of research, then it doesn't have enough fuel at some point to move to the next level. And it is extremely important that as sufficient advancements are made in a particular area, those areas are brought to the society and by the commercial uh, need, by the commercial value that is created, that generates additional money to funnel and to, to fuel f uh, further that research. And um, I think unless Europe uh, can create a climate in which um, starting companies, in, in which growing companies, rewarding risk taking, because every single entrepreneur in Europe is a risk taker, and uh, rewarding that and not penalizing that by putting everyone in the shame bin, if you want, for a few years until their bankruptcy is uh, uh, sorted out. I think uh, Europe is going to be at a great risk of uh, creating the value that uh, it has the opportunity to do. I think that in language technology in particular, this is probably the best time for doing language technology. The, the field has matured to the level where now it is possible to create value for the society that simply it was inimaginable before. And I think um, unless that opportunity is taken, I think it's going to be very difficult for Europe in the long term to compete in this particular area. So it's not so much, um, let's say, it's not so much companies failing, but not, sufficiently, not a sufficiently large number of companies being created.